Good afternoon, boys. Welcome aboard to the Diamond District Football League Division 2 1994 Grand Final model Bannyburn versus Model Warrior at the Western Oval, fellas. We've got a few stats to get through here today. If you want to have a look at their uh, win loss ratio for the year, we'll have a look a closer look at this one. This is a better one, fellas. How about that? Sensational, Fano. That's Panic Burns' win loss ratio for 1994. And we can see they won, uh, they haven't lost many games. The the, the, uh, the blocks going below the line, Ron, show us the games they've lost in the margin of points. And you can see they've won all the other games. And look at this towards the end, they've won the tight ones. Yeah, they certainly did. And that's probably a sign of a very good side, isn't it? In a very tough and long season of football for the Giant District Football League. And uh, uh, looking at the Motawari side, well, they uh, started off uh, a little slow, then built up and then dropped back a bit and lost three or four in a row. Yeah, they, they, got, they were getting beaten by the Division 1 side there mid-season, but have uh, come back and finished quite strongly the season off. And uh, they can see they've won two or three close ones too. So both sides know how to win a tight one. We had a tight one here two weeks ago, of course, and uh, a shocking game at half-time. Motawari kicking six goals in ten minutes in the third quarter to hit the front. And then Bannockburn doing the same in the last quarter, kicking about eight goals in the last quarter to uh, to win the game by about 15 points. Yeah, from a gambling man's point of view, uh, gee whiz, it's a bit of a tough one today, Cookie. Uh, I tend to think, you know, OK, Bannockburn are probably, you know, six to four favourites. Well, I think Bannockburn are entitled to start a bit shorter than that, Ronnie. You're not a bookmaker, obviously. They'd be odds on. They'd be about six to four, seven to four on, I would think. Perhaps two's on. Here's a shot of the Bannock boy, uh, the Bannock man in the rooms. You saw Darren Ralph getting taped up there. He's playing. I knew he would. Johnny Tillman there playing his hundredth with Gary, uh, number 19. Uh, there's a few more sitting around there, just getting ready for the game, psyching themselves up. This is the good footage here. The boys got into the rooms early when they were warming up. There's Shane Weeks there. Ronnie Pilgrim in front, grabbing the ball, having a bit of a hand pass around. And there's Carl Jill. He'll get the job at full back, I would suggest, on on Michael Wood. And that'll be an interesting game. We're in the uh, a T-shirt under him there is uh, Shane Andrews, and there's the coach, Ronnie. Yeah, Carl Fitke, uh, Cookie, and uh, Carl, very astute, very cool, very positive, and uh, very concise in what he wants from the players. And uh, it's pretty much a need, isn't it, in a coach, is to uh, just lead you the right way. And I think uh, Carl Fitke's credit, uh, he's done a mighty job for the Bannockburn Football Club for the 94 season. There's young, uh, young Shaw sitting on the uh, on the bench there, getting warmed up. Clinton Shaw, there's two Shaws playing, of course. Butch Shaw wears 69, Clinton wears 35. There's a good shot there of a few of the umpires board. And have a look at the haircut there. I won't repeat what he just said. Some executive members of the GDFL had, uh, yeah, some good footage there. From That's a great yesterday. shot because they fitted all them in and fitted Dick Philpott in at the back as well. <laughs> that was the wide angle lens on there. Dick Philpott talking to Billy Cowdow, the president there of, uh, there he is, talking to Billy, the president of Bannockburn, life member out there. Tireless worker for the club. Back in the Monterey rooms, the big Musa Meeson loosening up and uh, I'm sure he'll be very keen to have a, a game like he did last week. Cookie, well, unfortunately, picked in the side but this obviously hasn't come up well. Yeah, a bit of a ploy, just to give him something to think about, I would suggest, Ronnie. Yeah, Cookie there trying to fire his charges up. This was taken earlier, players getting a bit of a rub down there. Uh, yeah, there's Toby Hovey in screen there, the, the president of the club, uh, young Wosley, we're in 36. Well, he's a bit, a bit of an exciting winger. He's one of those that can run down and kick a goal now and again. There's the big moose. Played a great game here in the uh, preliminary final. And shot of the Cooter there, who's been very busy, very successful final series campaign. The number eight, Guernsey. Michael Wood with his back to us there. And there's the big bird. They need him to lift. He's just playing all right at the moment. He needs to take the, the game by the throat, I reckon. Big Mickey Bird, he, he's just not getting enough marks. And uh, once he's fought, he's got to grab a few more this afternoon. Well, let's hope that the rain, it's, it's perfect conditions, Cookie. There's no real wind advantage at all here today. And uh, if the rain can stay away, we should see a great spectacle here of the Division II uh, Reserve grade, uh, Senior Grand Final. Shane Coots with his back to us, just walking away there. And... Uh, of course, the bike helmet usually worn by little Dale McGuinness. He's got it on. It's a bit like uh, Gary Newon in that, doesn't he, Ronnie, with that helmet on? Yes, yeah, some great work, Noel Fanning, our executive producer of guest video. And there's the logo of the Geelong District Football League. Uh, congratulating Bannockburn and Monterey for reaching the uh, grand final for the 94 season. Here's the side coming up here, Ronnie. Bannockburn, this is the side picked in the paper. Now, look, don't take too much notice of where these are selected, but they've got Wentworth, Dew and Travers. Halfbacks, Gary Tillman, Wayne Woodman and Butch Shaw. The centres, Wayne Collager, Johnny Tillman, Clinton Shaw. Uh, the half-forwards, Rafa Robbie Henderson, 
Andy Goff and Shane Weeks. In the forward pockets, Matty Pilgrim. At full forward, Andrews. In the other pocket is Ronnie Pilgrim. In the ruck, Chris Horney by the ruck rover is Timmy Ellis. The rover is Corey Flanagan. The interchanges are from, I can tell you, the Darren Rowell is out there. He, I knew he'd play. Disappointment for Paul Barth, I'd suggest. He has missed out. And Gary Ward is the other interchange player for the Bannockburn Football Club. Not a worry, Cookie, as you can see from the back line. Shane Coots, Shane Friday, uh, Jeff Styles. Half back, Shane Phillips, uh, Paul Meeson, Pat Jackson. Centres, uh, Russell, McLean, and uh, Owen Berryman. Half forward line in the paper was D. Cook, M. Bird, and R. Stoop. Forward line was to a heavy Mick Wood and Mick Wormsley. The Ruckman was Walla Pavlik, Bryce Vasili, Glenn McLean. Uh, interchange was from uh, Siddle, McInnes, Girardi, Lockyer, and Styles. I would suggest Lockyer is out there. I think he might be, Ronnie, because I didn't see him in the twos, and I think he's taken the place of uh, David Cook with J uh, Jamie Siddles out there, and so too is Dale McGuinness. So I think that uh, the other one might be. Girardi would come in because Cook is in the selected side by the paper, has pulled out, so there'll be three of those players on the interchange coming might, in. Might be Girardi. He did play last week. <laughs> Let's see if we can pick him up, Ronnie. Yeah, I'd suggest Girardi McInnes coming off the ground. Yes, yeah, 16 and 18. Some yep. great work. Good shot there of David Cook, who was selected on the side, but uh, not playing today, coach of the Motawari side. Great work there from uh, executive producer, Noel Fanny, in providing a very good insight to the 94 grand final. Looky, looky, looky. There goes Cookie. Certainly, and uh, let's hope that it's a cracker jug opening. The 1994 Geelong District Football League uh, Division 2 grand final. And... Uh, well, your well, selection today, Ronnie. My selection today, mate. Uh, now, Bannockburn, before you start, Bannockburn have been the top side all year. Now, often when you get close to a grand final, you think, oh, perhaps this other side can knock them off. You always think that way, don't you? Yeah, How I do have, you feel about yeah, that? Yeah, I have been thinking that way. I have been. I've got to be honest with you, and it's a bit of a toss of a coin. But because of their consistent season, I'm going to go Bannockburn, you know, by about, I reckon, eight points. It's not going to be tough. Uh, it's going to be close. It's going to be a very tough game. And... Uh, Bannock Burn will just sneak in. Well, I've gone the other way. I've gone Wallawari by nine points. So, uh, 25 points, says Bulls, who's Bills. the... Uh, yep. Is he the runner? What is he? He's everything runner, out there. Team Bannock manager, Burn. yeah. Exactly. The team manager, yeah, out of Bannock <laughs> Burn. He <laughs> suggests that uh, they can win the game. Barry Walker yeah. will win. Barry Walker's gone for Bannock Burn. Neville Whitley says the GDFL are the winners. Yes, yeah, certainly. And a good crowd here today witnessing the uh, 94 grand final bounce down. Umpire Gilmore and Pavlik gets first touch of leather. But over the top, Alistair Flanagan. He was well met there. Wosley who gets a quick kick to half forward. The loose ball, Clinton Shaw under pressure. Butters up well. The Moosen's there. Can he get the ball out? Yes, he can. Opportunity now. Bryce Basili steadies from 35. Oh, it didn't steady enough. And he's well offline. Yeah. First score on the board there goes to uh, Monowari. The 55 jumper of Bryce Basili would have liked a better score than that, I'd suggest. But not there. And Murray Travers deep down there in enemy territory is about to put the ball back into play. Very experienced campaigner, this guy. He never plays a bad game, Murray Travers. He's sizing up his options before. See experience, Ron? Just didn't kick it in. Had a look, had to think about what he was going to do before he put it into play. Up goes Henderson. Can't take the mark. He's knocked off the football. Here's the chance. Colleger, the pacey Colleger. The hand pass, not too good. Oh, pulled around the neck here, Motawari player. That Pat Jackson it is. He's uh, playing forward to the centre at the moment. Well, now. That was Woodman kicking it in, was it? Thank you, Ron. <laughs> he doesn't play a bad game all the same, Travis. Yeah, good on you, mate. As we see, Travis now up the ground from the back pocket. Uh, well defend for the Tigers. And again, we'll see a bounty throw in on that other side. Half forward flank, the Western Oval. Yeah, Woodman's picking up uh, ah, Wood, if you don't mind. Okay, it's Woodman's on the Woodman's picking up Wood. Okay. Well, it uh, must have been off the uh, ground over the line on the full because now an opportunity... Oh, oh. Gary Tillman's hand pass and uh, coming through hard there, Ronnie Stoop has made contact with a Bannockburn player very high. Yeah, and it's Tim Ellis. He's not too good either. And not it is on. Good. And a uh, bit of a whilst we met. It's not really on yet, Ron, I don't think. It's a lot of pushing and shoving at the moment, but not much uh, happening. Well, play on's the call. As okay, we up the centre wing, a chance here for Berryman, but he's beaten for the footy on this occasion by College. A hand pass over the top wasn't good. Darrell Russell picks it up. Well, they ran at him hard, too, did sure, and also uh, Henderson went at him. The hand pass went back from Russell. Pavlik. Pete Pavlik's got the free kick. He got a push in the back in that uh, old occasion. Yeah, and uh, should have been play on. Yeah, OK, Ronnie. Here's Pavlik. 
defensive side of the centre. Magnificent kick from Pavlik. Up goes Wood in front of the pack. He couldn't bring it down at the second grab. Player pulled up the ball by Matawari. Must get the free kick, and it's big Mickey Bird. Well, Benny Burns supporters pleased to know that Timmy Ellis back on his feet and appears to be okay, but ooh, what a beautiful hip and shoulder. Ronnie Stoop. Yeah, here comes Bird, right foot kick into the pocket. It's a cross towards Wood, knocked away from him. Harvey, the box in the pocket. The box in the pocket goes bang, left foot, bang, oh! left foot, bang. Left foot kick from Harvey. Oh, He's yeah! it. Magnificent goal from the boxer. Great goal, Troy Harvey, and, uh, well, nice to see him start today. He was on the interchange bench last week. When he came on, he set him alight, the little terrier. I believe a bit of discipline last week, Ron, to start him up on the bench. It certainly worked, and he's earned his place starting on the ground, and he's kicked the first major of the day. Going to Mottawari, they've got one goal, one, seven points on the board. Bannockburn, the favourites, have yet to open their account. And we see Wentworth there on screen picking up Hovey. Woodman is picking up uh, Michael Wood at full back. Yes, Warney Blade playing at centre half uh, forward for Bannock Burn. Being picked up there, I'd suggest. Uh, not a worry, Sean Phillips. Big job for him today. As all uh, Johnny Toolman, congratulations, playing his 100th game. Kicks it off the carpet. Now, the Apco Easy Shop first quarter scoreboard shows that uh, Monterey 1-1-7. Bannockburn yet to score as the loose ball spills to Pat Jackson. The Flying Commando gives it to Mickey Bird in trouble. Pavlik cop one a bit high. And uh, Wally, you better keep your head up, son, because you might lose it before the end of the day is over. It's all right. Uh, a good decision for the umpire. And great camera work. They were right on that, the boys too. Here's Pavlik. Again, he kicks the 65 metres into attack. Oh, back and back. Here's a good mate. Looks like Russell. No one else takes him like that, Ronnie. Back and back into the packs and dragging him in with one grab. Nearly 52, mate. Nearly yeah. 50 metres. Now, Dowser just working out which way to go. Lex now to go onto the left foot and play on quickly. Kicking it long. Woods in front. He's up. He got the handle. It kicked off the ground by Harvey. The ball rebounds. Here's a little Merriman. Hand pass out. Not particularly good. A free kick was going to go the way of Bannockburn. They've been allowed to play on. And which sure. Which sure oh, he's defense. kicked it straight down the front of Mickey Wolseley, who said happy birthday. But oh, Wolseley's kick was a shock up. But he did field. Get, he caught one from, uh, that was like Book Shaw as he kicked. And Downfield. It, no, it'll come back because the ball went over the line and out of bounds. So it must come back now from where he kicked the ball from. OK, Ronnie, you're a former umpire, great umpire. You self-confessed one. Well, I think mate, it just goes, I got the I most think it just goes downfield, and it does go downfield, mate. And uh, that looks like Bryce Basili, who made a fair bit of ground to get back to take the kick away well, I from I McBurn. do stand corrected. It's only when it goes through the scoring zone does it go back. OK. Thank you very much. We sorted that one out by the umpires. The umpires were right once again, Ronnie. They've started off pretty well. Yep. Nearly five minutes gone first quarter. Bryce Basili from forward pocket straightens up and goes for goal. It's right across the face of goal. He might have just scrambled behind. He has. And one point only. That's his second behind, Bryce Basili. And we see that uh, on the Apco Easy Shop first quarter scoreboard of the grand final of 94. Monowari have got one, two, eight points. And Bannockburn have yet to clear their half forward line. Yeah, quite an interesting opening to the 94 grand final. Some it's good, tough. tough football. Woodman hesitates. Oh, he looks to college. And now he, oh, he's kicked it straight down the throat of Daryl Russell. Poor football, Wayne Woodman. Tell you what, pick up your pen and chalk this up. Yep. This experienced player, I don't believe, will miss this goal. Yeah, the distance not a problem, obviously, because there's only Michael Wood and Wayne Woodman standing in the goal square. Everyone else obviously thinks he's going to kick the distance. I do too. And he comes in on that fabulous left foot of his. He kicks for goal. The goal umpire gets underneath it. Goes to the post. He said it's home. It's a goal. Russell kicks another one for Monawari. And they've jumped the Bannockburn Tigers early stages of the first quarter. Yeah, they certainly have. And, uh, well, Wayne Woodman will be hesitating a little bit more, I would suggest, because... Why he didn't go long to the outer side of the ground, I don't know. He looked for Clinton Shaw, who really wasn't ready for it. He's kicked the ball straight to his teammate, his opponent, who was standing 10 metres uh, to his left. I haven't seen the runner go out and tell him yet either, Ron. I think all that right. should be done. Well, <laughs> it's all right saying he's played enough footy and he knows better. I think you should go and remind him. Kick him, yeah, to, just to suggest to him that he kicks it long. 14 points play zero as Pavlik goes up and wins the ball down to the turf. Ooh, it's pretty tough out there. There's a free kick to Bannockburn for a high tackle, I'd suggest. Butch sure in the thick of things there. He doesn't mind a tough Butch. He hand passes across the Ronnie Pilgrim and he sends Bannockburn to attack for the first time of the afternoon. He looks to Horny Blow. Well, not the way Phillips. Loose ball now. Breaking clear opportunity for the Tigers. Flanagan. Yeah, Flanagan. Good work. And the 100 gamer has taken a fine drab in front of goal. Some 30 metres out. 45 degree angle. Johnny Tillman. Opportunity to kick his first on his 100th. The vice captain. Well, that was a good kick from uh, Flanagan. He did the hard work, got through the pack, could have straightened up and blazed away. Just chipped it short to Johnny Tillman and uh, 
Well, they should have made it. Should make a good thing of this, John Tillman. Shouldn't be a problem. Taking plenty of time. Bit of experience there. They've got the black armbands on today too. Uh, Bannock Byrne. The kick coming in is a long one, but it's drifting away to the right-hand side of the goal mouth there. I think he's missed. He has one point only to uh, to Johnny Tillman on that occasion. Now, what's Friday going to do? It is Saturday, Shane Friday, and he's going to be. He hesitated a bit too. He's come to the members' side. Oh, Gary Tillman high. Collager, Ronnie Tillman, put down your glasses. Uh, Ronnie Tillman doesn't miss him. Bang, it's home. Lovely Wake kick, up. Pilgrim. Like Experience Corbin. there. Yeah, you got him early. So as I got Russell. We don't, you, you know good players won't miss them. <laughs> well, nine times out of ten, they won't. Don't let us down. Lovely goal, Ronnie Pilgrim. Up high there in that marking contest. Timmy Ellis certainly is OK after that uh, rather high hip and shoulder. He cocked there from uh, Ronnie Stoop. Yeah, and uh, guess who's picking up Ronnie Stoop now? Rough Robbie Henderson. I don't know. I think uh, I think Wayne Collager might have him, Ronnie. Well, he's letting him wander down to half forward now too, yeah. Hendo. So, uh, I'm not sure who's on who. We'll pick it up as the game goes on. Goff goes up. Might have run the knockdown. Ooh. Through comes Tillman. There's a bit of high arm stuff out there. Tillman will take free kick in the centre of the ground. That's John Tillman who just kicked the last goal. Looks to play on quickly. Kicks it across to Gary. You could have predicted that. They do it a bit. Gary gathers the ball at the centre. Goes to half forward. Chain Coots is his out in front and takes the mark. And Horny Blow uh, gives you a bit of a pat. And Coots gives you a bit of a pat back. Nothing in that. Little chip out to Ronnie Stoops. Good. We're still not sure who's got him. He kicks it past him. And he heads in towards half forward. Oops, today's he. Bryce Basili left it behind. He would have liked to have taken the hand pass back towards Jackson. Here comes Henderson, busts the pack and traps it towards uh, uh, Dallas there. And a bit of strike might get the free kick. Basili grabbed it and kicked it long. The umpire's got to let him off. He said it was OK. He kicked it just about at the same time as I blew the whistle. And the yeah. ball's got to come back. Yeah, good experience. Great uh, great work there, uh, Timmy Ellis, too, because uh, you know, there's a lot of players around the ball. And uh, had he really put the, a little bit of a, an act on, he wouldn't have got the kick. So uh, well done. The lovely now goes towards half forward. Here's Cooch taking his second mark in a minute. The Cooter loves to take a risk out of the back pocket. This player, he puts it high up in the air. He's looking here for Basili. Over the top, Timmy Ellis takes a magnificent mark right in front of the commentary position. Great grab. It's a bustling sentiment for the Tigers who always kicked it too long for uh, Carl Jew who just stood there and watched it go over his head. Wosley, well done. Yeah, Wosley, good work to Stoopy. Oh, he's met by uh, Jew. Kicks up looking for Wood. Lost his footy. Russell, can he keep it in front of himself? He can. Under pressure, Woodman. Likewise there. Oh, good work, Meeson. Woodman lost the ball back to Meeson. The big Musa screws it back to the corridor. The bouncing ball, Stoop, goal! Missed it. He was pretty hot. He had to throw it straight on the boot. He knew that, but uh, would have liked him to kick that one. The minor Warri supporters, I'd suggest. I think Ronnie Stoop would have liked that himself. One point only on the board. Minor Warri now go to 2 3 15 on the Apco Easy Shop's first quarter scoreboard. They lead the favourites. Bannock Burnt, one goal, one seven as Woodman kicks it back into play. Great mark there from uh, the boxer. Tura, your box, Hobie. He's already kicked one. He's got to kick this. Uh, well, he's inside 50 when he kicks, but it's, a, it's going to be a good kick, Ron, isn't it? Yeah, it'll test him. It'll test him from here. He's only a little fella. Oh, there'll be a, surely a lead here shortly. No, they all want him to bomb it in, I think. Well, let's see what he does. Hobie comes in. Puts the boot into it. It's a long kick. It's into the goal now. There's a bird. Oh, the goal to bird. bird. I think he's paid the mark. It's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's, it's Mickey Bird. bird. And, and Meeson and Woodman aren't the best of friends just at the moment down there in the goal square, settling down a little. Now, Mickey Bird trying to tell the up, well, took it right in front up, but uh, he's got to be going round right on the angle. Still should kick the goal. Would have to fall over here. Good shot there on the, on the screen of uh, the angle. Not very tight at all. Five metres out, comes in and has... Oh, he's kicked it into the man on the mark. It's touched off it. Yeah, the um, field oh. umpire called that one touched all clear. So it was touched Mate, off the back of the mark. That is a disgrace. Well, Ronnie, later on in the game, if things are tight, you get back to these ones early. You think, God, gee, Ronnie Stoop had the chance. You think, oh, Mick Bird had a chance. And, you know, uh, it, it could happen at the other end as well. And uh, you've got to kick those ones early stages, grand final. Woodman brings the ball back into play. Gary Tillman's the target. He takes the right. He's up here high. He can't take the mark, though. Uh, and settles on dumping the ball over the boundary line for a boundary throw in. 55 metres out from goal. Mono Warri doing most of the attack. And there's a shot of the crowd. It is a good crowd here this afternoon. Kel McLean looks as though he's got the arduous task on uh, Johnny Tillman. Just giving Gary Tillman a little bit of carry up as well. Mick Bird can't grab the ball out of the air. 
Loose ball now, opportunity for the Tigers, but uh, well met there. Just fumbled there, went worth, didn't he? He had, yep. he had it spent before he had it. Bit of finals, nerves. Out of bounds. Probably only 45 metres around from Marawari's goal. The throw in is a very high one. Gives the ruckman every chance. Mason actually done the ruck work, knocked it over the back. It's gone now. Oh, it's coming out of the pack. Was that Trap? Was in a bit of strife there. Hand pass is all right. Comes to Stoop. Can he make a man? He straightens up. Goes Stoop. He goes back. He's kicked the goal. Great He's goal. missed by eight. Hey, I think it's a point, Ronnie. Now it's all clear. Both fingers raised. Ronnie Stoop kicks his first at a very oh, handy good right. goal. It's all right. I just thought the umpires, I looked back to the screen and put up just one finger there. I frightened me because they were all clapping him and batting him on the back. I thought there'd be a riot. Another Wayne Woodman error. Lost his footing. Doing, yeah, they're doing things, Mate Bannockburn, before they actually control the football. Yeah, they're not getting it first. That's that's a good call, Ron, because three or four times they've fumbled just at the wrong time. They've been off and running, and uh, and uh, haven't had the footy. Ronnie Stoop in screen there. He's kicked his uh, first goal for the day. Oh well, uh, Pavlik thumps the ball to centre half forward. Oh, Plenty and overruns it, but Gary Toolman's there, flattened by the moose. Put him down and uh, Gary Toolman flung some mud at him. Not happy with the treatment he got. 21, 21 play, 7 on the Apco Easy Shop scoreboard. OK. Oh, there's the Pavlik. And I tell you what, there's a few more fireworks before this game will be over. Ellis <laughs> now kicks the ball into the forward line for Mother Warriors. Bouncing away. There. Oh, a little bit of a nifty one given out there by <laughs> Stilesy on Pilgrim. Play on is the call. The ball's knocked towards the boundary line. I saw that one that showed up very nicely on the screen on the blind side of the umpire. Just a little one to the bread basket there, Ronnie. Well, I think Gary Toolman is... Uh, no, he hasn't been sent off. It's OK. Emergency umpire out there, was he? Graham Munro, said to umpire, yep, just reading the right act. OK, boundary umpire throws it back into play. The knockdown goes to Pavlik. Get him in the nuts, believe it or not. <laughs> Here comes McLean. Can't pick it up. Fumbled again. Went in after Glenn McLean. Fighting hard for the footy at ground level. Siddles down there. Turn, spins out of trouble. Spins back into trouble. Henderson's in there throwing a bit of weight around. So too is Burn, I think it is. We did it, did he? Base of the pack. Get him in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> I wouldn't tell a lie. And it's a oh, ball-up decision at centre half forward for Bannockburn. OK, bounce down, centre half forward now. Bannockburn into attack uh, on a very rare occasion. Weeks tries to burst his way through. Kicked up the carpet by Runhouse, Robbie Henderson. Ricochets back to the pack. Bounce down again about 40 metres from uh, the Bannockburn goal. And it's very tough out here this afternoon, David Cook. Yeah, Robbie Henderson don't mind it tough. That's why he's in the side. He can mix it with the best of them. Here's the bounce down. Horny blow goes up. It's knocked away by Pavlik. He's winning in the ruck. And he does it nicely too. Who's that out of defence? Did it well. Who's it? Sean Phillips. Sean Phillips, was it? Good nice kick too. Got it up towards the centre wing position. Tillman's in the way. Gathers kicks to brother Gary. Takes the mark. Over the top he goes. Tackled late by Berryman. Gives it to Travers. I've got him this time. He goes on left foot to centre half forward, high fly from behind Horny Blow, can't mark, Weeks at ground level does well, in a bit of strike, Weeks took too long for mine, had every chance to get rid of the footy, has given the better for the doubt by the umpire, he dives in on top of Monawari, play at the base of that pack it's Glenn McLean who didn't like the treatment he received, Shane Friday coming out to assist there, it's a ball up at centre half forward, almost identical spot to where he bought it up just 35 seconds ago Johnny Zampatti the umpire, bounced down a good one, this time Patrick again gets it down, and uh, Cal McLean just letting roughhouse Robbie don't do that again, son, or I'll break your leg. Kel McLean now, footy at a back. Kicks the footy long to centre wing. The Moose, I think you'll find, uh, has pushed. Moose is suggesting he was pushed first, but the umpire uh, Darren Gilmore suggests no. Gilmore put out of the contest. Gary Tillman's kicks all right. Ronnie Pilgrim marks at half forward. Here past the pacey Collager. He runs through three defenders and straightens up and goes for goal. Long kick from Collager and clears the pack at the back of it. It's Pilgrim. Can he get a hold of it? He can't get a hold of it. There too was uh, Timmy Ellis, but off hands and he's an exciting play. Collager when he gets the ball. He doesn't mind taking them on. He, he could read, ran through three of them there, Ronnie. Easy as pie. Yeah, nicely done too. And uh, a bit of luck. He could have finished it off nicely as we wait now on uh, the ball to be brought back into play. Weeks ground level hand pass straight to the arms of Styles, who's been busy, and the umpire will throw it in again. 20 metres from the Bannockburn goal time clock ticking away, 15 minutes gone, and Motawari 3-5. 22, Bannockburn 1-1-7. 16 and a half, 16, three quarter minutes gone. Rocky 24 hour locks with time clock. Sean Phillips actually does the ruck work on this occasion. It comes down Ellis, he's got the boot into it all, paddling it through. Well done, Styles. He just couldn't get enough ball, boot on ball there. Uh, Timmy Ellis and uh, Wayne Styles has rushed it through for one minor score to Bannockburn. 
They've gone a 1 2 8 on the Epco Easy Shop's first quarter scoreboard. What a worry of kick 3 5 23 in a very lively opening. Yes, certainly. Look at the kick of this. Uh, Walter Pavlik kicked the balls down into the centre. The moose, like a rover, picks it up, puts ball to the ground, and then runs his turn and goes long to the goal square. Wood in front, and oh, nearly marked it. Almost. Travers does well, butters up for the. Um, Bannockburn side and goes out wide to Butshaw, who's off like the racehorse. And away he goes, goes on the left foot, sure, nice kick too. Up Cooch is up in front, did well, worked his way to the front of Weeks. Weeks has got the pace, breaks away, got a bit more strength too. Cooch comes back, tackles him, well done Shane Cooch. Forces the error, the kick's just an up and under one. Up they go, Pavlik down there, oh doing well the big fella, spun out of the pack, in a bit of trouble. Got it to Phillips, got one high, no, it's gone the other way. Yeah, umpire's doing well. Ronnie Pilgrim. Pel Pe Pavlik threw the ball there to Phillips. And a good call. How he saw it, I don't know, but uh, it was there. And uh, well, opportunity now for looks like uh, Ronnie Pilgrim. Ronnie Pilgrim, it is. He's too far out to score, surely. Ronnie's a nice kick, we know, but I think he's too far out. He's got to kick it from. Well, he kicks from 48 to 49. He tumbles the punt. He tried too hard. Oh, is a mark in the goal square? Shane Andrews, the liver salts man, the drainer. He's got it. Got the shock of his life, but we might call that a good pass from Ronnie Pilgrim. Yeah, Ronnie's tried the torpedo and it turned into an, an up and ender over and ender a mongrel punt. It tumbled aerodynamically it tumbled, rather badly. Which, yeah, it, it, it drops very quickly. And uh, <laughs> Andrews picked it up front. rather quickly and uh, just got into the front spot and took a good grab. And he comes in to kick for goal. He's got it! Monawari have got their second. They come back. That Monawari. Bannockburn have got their second. They come back at Monawari, who jumped them in the early stages. Thank you very much, David Cook. And uh, yeah, that's how he's kicked the ball. He just jabbed at it. Not a good shot of him. Apco Easy Shop uh, first quarter scoreboard. Uh, Bannockburn now 2 2 14. They trail Mottawari 3 5 23. And don't forget Apco Easy Shops. North Geelong, East Geelong, Newcomb, and of course Sunny Bow and Heads, the one stop shop that's got the lot. A little bit of shake on the screen, the Epco Easy Shop's really. That's not anything to do with you moving around. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Beaver Mountain. Wally Pavlik's the only bloke you wouldn't move, I reckon. Thanks very much. Nearly 20 minutes gone. Rockney's 24 hour lost bit time. Clock of the first quarter. Pavlik does the ruck, but he's dominated it. He knocks this one out again. Not particularly effective. But Shaw came through there. Laid hands on the foot. He couldn't control it. Tillman, that's John, tries to break his way through the pack. Hobie stacks it on top of uh, Corey Flanagan, who had stacked it on top of, I think, that might have been Wigwell Pavlik at the bottom of that pack. And the, he just lifts them all up as he stands up. And have another bounce down the centre of the ground. Yeah, Ronnie Pilgrim does battle with Pavlik this time. Roughhouse Robbie comes through. Henderson. And left foot slaps it down but in front and I tell you what he's giving Corny Blow an absolute hiding Sean Phillips goes short and finds uh, Ronnie Stoop who's been busy he's bumped by Collager as he kicks the ball legally said the umpire looked a touch late to me but it's a grand final and you've got to get in and get out of the other footy so he's given the benefit of the doubt there to Wayne Collager Stoops kick us off hands it's out of bounds right half forward grandstand side of the ground We've gone, well, close to 20 minutes of the first quarter on the Rutgers 24-hour locks bit time clock. 14 plays, 23, That's nine it. points in front of the Warriors. They've lost the last two Division Two grand finals starting favourites. Can they win this one starting as underdogs? Jackson's in trouble, too long with the footy. Great tackle applied there by Henderson. He takes the free kick just short of the centre of the ground for Bannockburn. The lead from Andrews is on. Does he look for him? Yes, he does. Kick a good one, a little bit well weighted for Andrews. Back of the pack now, Butchaw well up the ground. Hand pass, intercept that there Wosley kicked off the car but Butshaw but again the Cooter comes out of the fence chips over the top looking for Hobie half back Hobie opportunity to steady head pass over the top but there's nobody home as uh, Corey Flanagan traps it for the Tigers and he kicks on left foot in towards half forward running out to meet the footy hard there uh, might have worried player Jamie Siddle playing in defence today hand pass is uh, interrupted there by Ronnie Pilgrim had it lost it behind his back got it back again not the forward in goes Matt Pilgrim it's pretty tough out there they're going hard at the footy Monawari through Jackson, get the ball out wide to Berryman, he's got the bike helmet on, he kicks the ball out wide to Ronnie Stoop, who uh, takes a bit of time to have a look at it, Ronnie Stoop versus Hendo, Hendo, Ronnie Stoop just a bit quick for Hendo I'm afraid, and uh, shepherded there by, by little Berryman who's put down by Henderson, but Stoop got the ball up to half forward, got it to uh, Wisely, Wisely back to Stoop, Stoop out of the forward zone, backing back no mark taken, Bird playing the part of the rover down there, Wood has pulled up the footy, here comes the big bird, he straightens up, he's pulled as he kicked, and tumbles into the forward pocket, Chance. What a worry need to score. Oh, well done. Who was that defender, Ronnie? Yeah, Murray Travers. It Travers, was. yeah. Butch. At the butch sure. Did it well, didn't he, Travers? Certainly did. And uh, ball spills from those two players, uh, Bryce Vasili and Butch Shaw. 
wearing a 55 and 69. Those boys will be tired tonight. How'd you be trying to add that up? <laughs> <laughs> the outround player throws it back into play. Bird versus Horny Blow. He's in the ruck now, as you suggested. He should move from centre half forward. He gets the ball to the big brother, Horny Blow. Tumbles the punt down towards uh, the centre wing. Yeah, nice mark taken too. I think you'll find it was uh, College that quickly kicks the half forward. Having a lot of problems at the moment, Benny Fern with the half forward line. As uh, Phillips again out points their uh, forward thrusts and has taken the ball as half forward. The mark was paid. For silly. Yeah, he played on, but the umpire has said no. And a 50 metre penalty, I think you'll find. Gee, that's a bit tough because he definitely played on. A few in front of us shaking their heads. Their umpire's advisor, Barry Walker, shaking his profusely. But, uh, well, Basili got the chance now to kick a goal. He definitely played on there. Whether he'd uh, blown the whistle and blown time off, I don't know, Rob. Well, uh, when he plays on, though, the umpire is not official until the umpire actually calls it, and he may not yeah, have called true. it prior to the tackle. Yeah, OK. okay. That might be the reason. Bryce Basili. He kicked a, a minor score from a, uh, a free kick before. Let's see how it goes from this one. Oh, it's not a free kick. He didn't take the mark. He comes in and goes on the right foot. It's a better-looking kick from Bryce. It's a goal! Vasily kicks his first for the day, and he's been a good player early stages. They've had the runners, and they've had the good defenders. Yeah, they've broken down at centre-half forward, as you said, Benick Burn. They put the big horny bloke into the ruck. Who's playing at centre-half forward now, Ron? Andy Goff. Andy Goff. Well, he was getting booted in the ruck by Pavlik, so that's a, a good move because they're both getting a hiding. Pavlik was dominating the ruck, and, and Sean Phillips was dominating at centre-half back. So they've tried something, uh, uh, Benick Burn. That's good coaching. Yes, yeah, certainly, and I wouldn't be surprised because Andy Goff will be just as slow as uh, what horny bloke was. They really need to put Andrews out there to say they cut the run of Phillips. Yeah, OK, out of the centre. Stoop playing well. The hand pass back. That looked like Hovey getting the kick out. He's kicked it out wide to Berryman, who's got some space to run. He straightens up Berryman and goes for goal. Long kick from Berryman into the goal. Mount Woods in front. He's pulled down. Play another call. Knocked out wide there by Woodman. He needs a bit of support. Oh, Bryce Priscilli just fumbled at the wrong time. Here's the chance for Clean Handball the wrong way. It's all right. It goes to Wisley. He gets around hand pass back to Meeson. He didn't want it. God, he was as hot as a potato. Knocked away from Meeson. Here they come. Stoop's got it inside 50. He straightens up and goes for goal. Ronnie Stoop. Don't tell me he's kicked another one. He's hit the post. Well, I tell you what, Ronnie Stoop ought to be shot. Michael Wood was 20 metres from goal. There was no one within 30 metres from him, and he ignored him. That's the second time Berryman just ignored him a minute ago. Michael Wood wouldn't be very happy. Well, don't blame him. He said he kicked a lot of goals this year for them. Uh, Michael Wood as Woodman, his direct opponent. Punt kicks the ball back into play. It's out over halfback. Model Warry have got all the pace at the moment at ground level. Here's a chance for Hobie. He's been lively. Hand pass over the top. all right. The big fella Bird. He straightens up. Kicks it in short towards Wood. Pilgrim dropped into the hole. Knocked it away. Well done, Ronnie Pilgrim. Hand pass over the top. Not effective. It's not back. Oh, it's not true from behind. He'll call it a rush run, Ronnie. And uh, Benny Burn just seemed to be on a fair bit pressure there at the moment and I think a couple of panic moves <laughs> yeah I think you're right and uh, well Mata Warri just have settled that, that little bit uh, better at the present time a lot of football remaining here in the 94 Division 2 Grand Final but at the minute it's a very comfortable lead to the Mottawari side. That's Travis kicking the ball back into play. Goes with the right foot. Good kick. Up goes Pavlik. Knocks it away. Good play, Pavlik. We couldn't mark. Paddle the ball to the ground. Here come uh, uh, Bannock Burn too. It looked like Ronnie Pilgrim. Yeah, left foot was. kick. Here comes Jackson. The Jets got it at the centre wing. He kicks the pass up. Looks for Bird. He's up and he takes the mark at centre half forward. What's the play on? He's called to now. He straightens up and goes for goal on the right foot. It's a long kick from the big bird. Wood goes back. Can't take the mark. McLean's there for Mottawari. It's paddled away in the is it a throw? Oh! I think he's called it a throw, Ronnie. Unbelievable. And Michael Wood to take the free kick in front of goal. It's a tough decision. As Travis picks himself up from the ground and can't believe it, Norkin Woodman. Well, well he paid a throw out here before. Yeah. He's called it that way. He's seen it. 17 points to the margin. This will make it 23, Cookie. Michael Wood from a free kick comes in. Oh, oh he's missed it. Oh, dear me. I reckon he's missed that. Oh, oh, you can hear a pin drop out of the ground. I was almost about to chalk that down. Well, perhaps a bit of a lack of confidence there from Woody. That's his first kick for the game, I guess. He's been ignored a couple of occasions and might have been feeling the pressure there, but shouldn't miss those. Let's wait till three-quarter time. We talk about the game, and we'll talk about these ones that have Model Warrior missed in the first quarter. Yes, yeah, certainly. They kick a good one, and Woodman this time is out the ground. And that was Murray Travers this time, Cookie, that brought the ball in, and uh, that was better work. Now, Woodman, the centre-half forward, Pavlik's there, knocks it away from Horny Blow, Jackson lost the footy, support McLean, good work, 
Now he's got nowhere to go. Hand passes to Phillips who runs into Ellis. And that took the uh, gas out of Sean Phillips a little bit, i got to tell you. Ellis too high on Ellis, I reckon. Yeah, possibly. It's pretty willing out there, and yeah. the umpire's uh, picked out a free kick. Yeah. He's going to go the way of Vanek, Burns, Corey, uh, Planick. Planning it, I think. And that was, that was going to be a ball up for a start. Rockney's time clock shows us 27 minutes gone of the uh, first quarter as Flanagan takes the free kick after a bit of a scaffold. He punt kicks up Friday, uses the fist nicely, knocks to the ground. Here's the chance, Butch Shaw steadies on left foot, chips it into the forward pocket. Good mark, Styles in front of Pilgrim on that occasion. Played well. And uh, did the job nicely in front. He elects to switch play, goes out wide to Jackson he was looking for. Ooh, the kick wasn't too good, but bounced inside the line. It is a boundary throw in. Uh, midway between, well, it's only, let's say it's 35 metres out from goal and uh, Bannock Burn into attack. The scoreboard shows 47 plays, sorry, 14 plays 32. That's on the Apco Easy Shop's first quarter scoreboard. A handy lead to Matawari. Yeah, 18 points the margin and as we see now, an opportunity Corey Flanagan slaps it onto his left foot. It's oh, Andrews off the ground. Rush through. Good defensive football, Shane Friday. Gee, it's good stuff. I love a grand final. It's tough out there, isn't it? <laughs> There's things happening all the time. Certainly is, Cookie. Here's Friday in screen. Had a pretty good game last week at, uh, at full back, Ronnie. Right? No, yeah. not really. Yeah, very steady uh, competitor, isn't he? Nothing fancy, just yeah, the job un done. unobtrusive, but these, the, right. these opposing forwards don't kick too many goals. His kick out's not too good, though. Nice grab. Looks like Butch Shaw. Butch Shaw it is, yeah. Now, left foot kick. He's a long kick, Shaw. This is no exception. Into the goal mouth at the uh. back. Oh, horny bloke. Goes down, gets it now. Can he knock it through? He's Here comes Coots. He hits for this. Rush through, rush through, Shane Kutch took no chances. Okay. Another rush behind the Bannock man. that's the third one I've got from Rush Roddy. Yes, certainly, Cookie, and there's good pressure there in defence uh, for the uh, Matawari side, which are forcing these uh, very tough line ballers, uh, last line of the uh, defence, and it's uh, have well, a look, good to see. Have a look at the kick out from Pavlik. He's kicked at 65, he had it for Bird, he couldn't take the mark, a ground level horny blow, hand pass over the top to Gary Tillman, in a bit of strife, has to kick in a hurry, gets it around the body nicely, and he finds horny blow, who drops back and takes the mark half forward flank far side of the ground and he's got to kick at 55 metres to score and there is a very very happy man Brian happy man in Geelong Brian Codlin holding the cup he's the on footy by Belmont. and Dave uh, uh, yeah there he is on okay, the screen back David to the footy Bell. here's Mason at half back trying to crash his way through little kick marked by Stoop who's been very good early might have wasted the ball a couple of times but he keeps getting it oh lovely kick from Stoop too into the centre of the ground the lead was on from Daryl Russell young Clinton Shaw picking him up was four or five metres behind on that occasion Russell goes for Berryman takes the mark gets his hat knocked off by Gold Kicks it in the wood and marks in the forward pocket. What a sensation! Interesting, isn't it? And uh, right. Owen Berry, good mark too under pressure. College of Matty Murder, not his like, bike helmet right off. And the kick was all right. Michael Wood leading out in front has taken this run, Ronnie. Now he's got to kick this, I reckon, to offset that bad kick he had before. Here comes Woody. Goes for goal. Looks to have pushed it to the right hand side once more. He has. That's his second minor score. After a very good build-up from Motawari. Well, they're kicking themselves out of it, Motawari, I've got to tell you. There's the siren to uh, uh, terminate the very, uh, very enjoyable first quarter of the 94 Division II Grand Final here at the Western Oval. There's David Cook on screen just going out. Well, he'd be happy and disappointed all in one, I think, because they've had all the play. They should have had about seven goals on the board, I would think. Yep. I think they've just kicked four right in the school board to catch up. Certainly. And, and too many behinds. He's just talking to Shane Friday there. There's the scoreboard, the Apco Easy Shop final, uh, first quarter scoreboard. It's four goals, nine, 33, Motta Worry. Two goals, two, 14. I've got two, four, 16 here. Yep, two, four, 16. I think I'll settle for there, right? Yep. Yep. And uh, that is at quarter time. Better players, uh, Ronnie, for Bannockburn in that first quarter. I thought uh, at times Ronnie Pilgrim, he kicked a nice goal, was getting into the play a bit. Uh, Gee, they didn't have too many good players. When you look at it, Butch Shaw, I thought, was playing quite well for them. Plenty in at times. And, uh, Wayne Collagy. And Wayne Collagy. Uh, yeah. yeah, Butch Shaw. And, uh, you know, that is about it, isn't it, really? Yeah, whilst for Mottawari, they had many good players. Phillips at centre-half back was impassable. Uh, Moosin was doing his little bit. Darrell Russell was quite good. Coots in the back pocket was lively. Ronnie Stoops had a lot of the footy. Uh, Hobie was very good, I thought. Uh, you can go on. Wally Pavlik dominated the ruck, and he's kicking in from full back. It's obviously a set play. It's sensational. He's kicking the ball 65 or 70 metres every time he puts the boot into it. And it's two kicks to get it back, and that's a good move from Coach David Cook. Friday at full back's done OK. Uh, 
other players there. Wasley's been handy, and Berryman and, uh, and Basili and Jackson, they've had all the better players. They lead at quarter time, 2-4-16 to 4 -9 The margin only 17 points. I thought it should have been about five goals for the second quarter, Ronnie. Well, tell us a little bit more about this grand final of 94. Back shortly with the action of the second quarter.